We are to make our request known. Mother said we are to dress ourselves, prepare ourselves to go into battle. The enemy desire to take this world, and if he can, he will. But mother's daughter stand behind her. Mother's daughter stand. Come, ladies. We just have a few minutes. But the daughters will be praying that we will take this world by force. We have the power. We have the power. We have the power. We are praying women. We are sanctified women. And Lord, we are praying that you will save us all over again and that you will see to it that this world is not taken. It cannot be destroyed because God is praying for us. We gotta pray about everything. Pray without ceasing. Pray continuously. Make your request known unto God. And then we pray for our mother's strength. We pray that the Lord will strengthen her body, and that she will be able to continue to teach us. Lord, we're praying right now. We're praying right now. In the name of Jesus, we are praying that mother will have answers to our prayers. That we will pray that our neighborhood will be safe. We are praying that our children won't go to hell. We are praying that our children will be saved. We are praying that as this world stands, we have a place for our grandchildren. We are praying that we can walk down the streets again. We will pray that God will hear our prayer. We will pray. Do you know how to pray? If you know how to pray, you ought to ask God for some help. You ought to ask God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you and we praise you. Father, that our mother has said to us that we are to return to prayer. Father, you said you would incline to us. Father, you said that you would no wise turn us away. Lord, you said if we abide in you and your word abide in us, whatever we ask, you would do it. Father, touch our homes, touch our marriages, touch our children. Lord, save and deliver our children. Lord, save, Lord, cover our children as they go to school. Father, protect them. Keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger. Father, the land needs a healing. The land needs a deliverance. Father, the marriages need healing. The marriages need delivery. Lord, only you can do it. Father, we yield our will. We yield our way. We say yes to your will. Yes to your way. Lord, we will obey. Father, we turn our face to the wall. We turn our face to the wall. Father, hear us today. Lord, we know that you're the God of all flesh. That's nothing impossible for you. So, Lord, we lean and depend on you. Hear us this day, Lord. Hear us this day. Father, bind us together in love. Bind us together in love. Help us to love one another. Help us to protect one another. Help us to cover one another with our prayers. Father, help us to lift our brothers and sisters up. Heal our brothers and our sisters. Father, those that have fallen, help us not to talk about them. But Lord, help us to reach down and pick them up. Lord, you're God. And Father, you said, where two or more gather together, touching and agreeing, there you would be in the midst. Father, come in our midst. Come in our midst. Father, let not one person leave here hurting. Let not one person leave here, Lord, with any disease in their body. Father, as Paul prayed, Father, you said everyone was healed. Lord, even as Peter he prayed, Father, you said even his shadow healed. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you, God, for your word. 
for you sent your word to heal and to deliver us from our destruction. And Father, we ask you for your help on tonight, for we realize that without you, we, we can do nothing. And so, Father, we ask that you will forgive us for all of our failures, all of our shortcomings. And Father, help us to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you have called us. Help us to be godly women. Help us to be women who are courageous, women who are strong, women who don't doubt but believe in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, help us to be a shining light to this dark world. In the mighty name of Jesus, Strengthen our homes, strengthen our families. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we love you tonight. We appreciate you tonight. We honor you tonight because we know that you are the God of the Bible. We thank you, God, because you are our everything. You told us in your word that it is in you that we live and we move and we have our very being. So, Father, we thank you now and we praise you now in Jesus' name. And if you do not know Jesus in the pardon of your sins tonight, if you're in this room, there are women of God that are here to pray with you. All you have to do is to give your heart to the Lord. It's no need to suffer alone in a world of sin, but the joy of Jesus will fill you with his glory. Is there anyone under the sound of our voice and you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins and you want to accept him on tonight? Our mother has talked about prayer. She has challenged us for prayer for our children, our grandchildren, our nieces and our nephews. You can come tonight. The day you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. Come now. Come now to the altar. Bring your needs, cast your cares on the Lord. Whatever your care is tonight, you can give it to the Lord. And let us therefore lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Those of you that need to be restored and refreshed in your spirit, come down tonight and heed the voice of the Lord who is speaking with you right now. Those of you that are live streaming in your homes, in your bedrooms, you can accept Christ as your personal savior. Just give your heart to the Lord. If you wanna be baptized in the Holy Ghost, these women will tarry with you to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. If you want to come on behalf of your children that are at home, come be on behalf of your sons that are incarcerated, your daughters, your husbands, your wives. Come and stand and we will pray with you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He cares. He's a God of love. He's a God of all flesh. There's nothing too hard for him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming on behalf of their children. Coming on behalf of their husbands. Amen. You can stand in the gap tonight. He's an all-answering God. And there's nothing too hard for him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you on tonight. We thank you for deliverance. We thank
thank you, Lord, for your power. We bring our sins to you. You said if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Confess Jesus on tonight who came and died on the cross and then he rose again. He got up out of that grave that we could have salvation. You can go home another way. You can go home another way. Send your word to the prisons. Send your word to that girl that's out on the street. Send your word of deliverance. As we plead on behalf of our loved ones, those of you that have strayed away, tomorrow is not promised to you, but you can come and give your heart back to the Lord on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for restoration. Mother has told us that the key is for praying women. Call for the moaning women that they may come. Hear our cry. You said your eyes are on the righteous and your ears are open to our cry. Hear our cry, Lord. Cry loud and spare not. Lift up our voice. Hallelujah. Deliverance and freedom. Our mother has challenged us on tonight, women of God, to go in our prayer closet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless, bless, bless. Deliver, deliver, deliver on tonight. Set free on tonight. By your stripes, we are healed. Break up the fallow ground. Destroy the yoke. Set us free on tonight. Set us free on tonight. You can be free. Every addiction, every heavy weight, you can be free on tonight. You don't have to leave this house without your freedom in God. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. We recognize your presence. Holy Ghost, we recognize your presence. Go in the room. Go in the houses. Deliver your people. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We magnify your name. We glorify you. Shine the light on us, Lord. We come before you in the spirit of humility. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us, Lord. And we'll thank you. to the potter's house. All over this house, take us to the potter's house. Oh God, put us on the wheel. Put us on the wheel. Put us on the wheel. And we'll give you all the glory. All the honor and all the praise. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go in peace. Go in his strength. Go in his power. Go in that fresh anointing. 
the fresh anointing. It's already done. The word said you can decree a thing. Look at your neighbor all over this house and just decree salvation. Decree the Holy Ghost. Decree salvation for your children. And it is so. Yes. And it is so. Look at your neighbor and say, and it is so. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.